Garbage men slash woman of the world. What's the best slash worst thing you have found thrown away? I found my wife in a pile of garbage while working on a garbage truck. I was working being trained as a garbage man and one day a woman was throwing out way too much good stuff, boxes of books and I could see she was trying to fill a car and minivan, so I figured she was moving and having to sacrifice good stuff. I talked to her and offered to come back later and help her move so she didn't have to throw away so much stuff, and it ended up being a story that her husband left her for her best friend, and they moved in together, and she couldn't afford the townhouse anymore as she was undergoing cancer treatment. We got married one year later. I like to say I found her in the trash and fixed her up, but the truth is it is opposite. I was the trash she fixed up I. My dad worked at a landfill for most of my childhood and my brother and I both got into related companies that directly dealt with landfills for a while. One of the most common things I remember hearing about and seeing all the time were clothing with minor irregularities that had to be thrown away by said clothing company. It was stuff like Roxy, Vans, and other stuff you'd see at places like Tillis or similar clothing store. One of my old co-workers' families basically were clothed their whole life from this type of clothing being dumped. The clothing was clean or could be clean to a decent level that the clothing was fine to wear. It was dumb stuff like small rib, missing zipper, or some other weird thing they couldn't sell it that way. Everyone at the landfill was basically in on the scheme. When the truck with the clothing pulled up to the fee booth, someone would radio people at the dump site and it was like a pack of vultures, everyone on the site would swarm the truck as soon as everything was dumped out of the truck. When I was a kid I found a couch. It wasn't very big, but that's why it was so great. Ten-year-old me was able to carry it all the way home by myself. About a block and a half. This was before kids having cell phones were huge so I didn't call my parents about it first and they were at the store anyways. So I took the couch home and put it in my room. It was pretty dated. Made of some material I've never encountered again so far, but I thought I was the shit. I had a whole couch in my room. How many ten-year-olds had couches in their room? Well my parents came home and clearly weren't happy, but given I carried it up to the second story and got it into my room they let me keep it. My downstairs neighbor helped me. I felt like a king. I had a couch. I had a big box TV for my PlayStation. I had it all. Simpler times. Edit, so I just realized I misread the post entirely and that this was intended for the garbage pickup people and not dumpster diving stories. My bad. LOL. Ha ha ha. Year ago when I was in high school, me and a couple friends had walked to a corner store that was down the street from the school. On the way, we passed down an alley and spotted a couch, armchair, two side tables, coffee table and a lamp set, two table lamps and a tall floor lamp, sitting there with a free sign. The guy at the house said he was moving and couldn't take them. So like typical idiot kids, we took them. We decided to set them up in a little park a bit further down the road and chill there and eat lunch. It was great. Shortly after we got things set up, the owner guy drove by and stopped to ask if we wanted a cheap set of golf clubs. Yes. Yes we did. About ten minutes after that a police car rolled up. Apparently someone called them saying there was a group of teenagers with golf clubs in the park. They told us they expected to roll up and find us smashing things with the clubs. What they didn't expect was to find us hanging out in a park eating lunch, while chilling on a couch, feet on a coffee table while a couple of the guys practiced pudding. LMFAO My dad was a trash man when I was growing up. He would always be bringing cool stuff home to us. He used to always say that the poor neighborhoods had the most trash and they threw away literally everything. The two best ones that I can think of was a brand new BMX bike and like 20 Nintendo 64 games that he found at a video rental store. Also once at the transfer station one of his co-workers found a dummy arm in the big pile of trash. He pulled it and it ended up being a dead guy, the police later determined that it was a homeless person that got picked up and died when the trash truck compacted him. It happens semi-frequently. Homeless person climbs into a dumpster to shelter from rain slash cold. 
they're wasted, because you'd have to be to sleep in that smell, so when the truck comes to pick it up, they don't hear them. By the time they do wake up, the noise is too loud to hear any shouting and they get crushed. I would imagine the guys check the dumpsters before picking them up with the truck, but someone might cover themselves with garbage bags or old blankets, so on a quick inspection they're not spotted. We had an incident last year where the council was using a large arm and claw to remove abandoned tents along a canal. There was a guy going ahead of the machine to check the tents to make sure there was nobody in them and no obvious valuables in them. It's not entirely clear what happened, maybe there was a delay between the check and the lift, but anyway one guy got into his tent and the claw came and picked him up. He survived IIRC. Thank <music> you.